objectives are to begin speaking before an audience and to discover speaking skills that you have and work on skills that you may need to improve. The time is four to six minutes. Icebreakers are normally for people who are new to Toastmasters and um, maybe the topic of the speech kind of gives a clue as to why this is his 13th icebreaker. I don't know what to talk about. That's his title. Cost effective of problem solving. A toast to Justin. Be yourself. These are just a few of the speech titles that John Schneider has given. Distinguished Toastmaster John Schneier has delivered over 150 speeches wow. since joining Toastmasters in 2009. He gave 25 speeches in one weekend, <laughs> helping District 47 break a world record and holds a Toastmaster record that can't be broken. Initially, John didn't know what to talk about. Then he found a method. Combining his professional experience as a, as a management consultant, personal experience as a child, adult and father, personal experience and education experiences from school, university and life, John now finds it easier to come up with speech topics. Today you will learn some of John's tips, apply them and come up with enough speech topics to get you through confident communication manual. <coughs> if at the end of the speech you are still not able to come up with speech topics, you should, do, you should listen to one of her, his other speeches which is, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Please give a warm welcome to distinguished Toastmaster John Knight. It's about you. Yes, you and you and you will be back. And especially those of you who are new or aren't even members yet. Because here's what I found. When you think back to the first time you came to a Toastmasters meeting and you were anything like me, you were intimidated. I joined this club and I got a manual that had. 10 speech projects in And I had no idea what to talk about, how to proceed, and I thought, I'll never get through this. And at the end of my first night, one of our members, Tim Adler, came up to me and said, here's my advice. Sign up for one speech a month. And you'll be done with this manual in less than a year. But come prepared every night, just in case. Things happen. Life gets in the way, and you might have an opportunity. Hey, I was naive. I took it to the place. <laughs> I signed up for a speech a month. But that didn't tell me how to come up with topics. So I observed, not just in this club, but at the Booker Town Chamber of Commerce, and what I found is a lot of people had the same problem. They said, I don't know what to talk about. My life was boring. People wouldn't want to listen to what I had to say. And I thought about it for a while. And I'm a process guy. I thought there's got to be a process for this. I thought about it and I observed other people. And this is what I realized. <coughs> people just didn't know how to start and what the process should be. Now, when I say process, those of you who aren't process guys like I am, I'm just talking about a series of steps accomplish a goal. I'll give you an example. This is a simple process I use just about every day. And I bet you use a similar process. You don't think about it this way though. The name of my process is getting dressed. And it goes something like this. Underwear, socks, pants, shoes, shirt, tie, jacket. Hey, I'm done! Everybody got it? Goal is getting dressed? Those are the steps. Everybody got it? You do something similar? 
Let's run through it again. Socks, pants, shoes, shirt, tie, jacket, underwear. <laughs> Steps out of order? Yeah, that's what I found out about coming up with speech topics too. If you do the topic steps out of order, you get all messed up. And what I found out there's two high level processes for coming up with a speech topic. And most of us start off doing them in the wrong order. Take this man. Make the mistake of opening it. <laughs> this is the Confident Communication Manual. It's got the first 10 speech projects in it. Everybody gets this, they're all excited, you open it up. And that's the end for a lot of us. We don't know what to do. I'm here to tell you this could be the biggest impediment to coming up with speech topics. So put it away. That's step two. You need to do step one first. Step one goes like this. Whatever puts you in the mood, whatever relaxes you. Some people it's a walk on the beach in the morning. For other people it's a glass of wine and a warm bowl bath. For me, it used to be riding my Harley, focusing on everything else, and ideas would come to my head. Who knows, ideas come up, and it's different for all of us. Then I go to the manual and help, let that help shape my speech. It doesn't tell me what to talk about. It doesn't give me content, but it helps me guide. Now I want to do a quick exercise in here. Put your hand up if you are under 30 years old. <laughs> Alright, now everybody look at the hands that are up. I don't know. 